Hello there, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing Lego set number 8618, Vaki Rorzak. So, this is the uh, build of the set. There's no minifigs. Uh, the Vaki are quite divisive, I've noticed, in the Bionicle uh, community. Some people really like them. Some people don't like them and think they're boring. They are, um, <laughs> use these uh, big kind of bulky pieces for, uh, like, calves, uh, calves instead of thighs which is kind of strange, and they use Mata feet and arms, but I think they're cool. Uh, Rorzak in particular, I might call him something wrong in this video. If I do, I'm sorry. Like, call him by the wrong name. Um, he's got these really cool detailed weapons. I have no clue if they're exclusive or not, but you get two of them, and they're really cool. Um, of course, the main gimmick with the Vaki, uh, one of the main gimmicks was they can shoot these discs, like that. I'm going to find where that went. I think it went over here. Let me grab it. And then that disc looks like this, and it has the number 665 on it. Um, I don't know what that means, but what's cool is that this disc actually glows in the dark. Now, it's it would be extremely hard for me to demonstrate that it glows in the dark in this video because I'm filming this in like almost 12 o'clock in the afternoon but i will make an attempt well i held it up to the light bulb and um okay that didn't really work trust me this glows in the dark of course this piece is almost 20 years old so it may have lost a bit of that glow i can't speak today glow over the years the Vaki have these cool heads where it's this piece, the launcher thingy, the disc launcher, uh, two Technic pins, a Technic axle in there, and then this cool translucent bit that's a uh, different color in each one. This one's translucent and yellow, I think. And I don't know what the Vaki's elements are, because um, it's not like just a simple one-to-one -one with the Toa, you know, like fire, air, water, etc. But... Yeah, and then, of course, he has a gear function where he just kind of um, goes back and forth like that, uh, which is pretty neat. I don't have a Toa built to demonstrate on, but um, I'm going to find something for him to attack. So if we take Luigi here, this was the first thing I found, and kind of just set him there, you can attack him and knock him over. Oh, he doesn't stand well on studs on his own, but... Look at that. All right. Thank you, Luigi. And then the other really cool feature with the Vaki is they actually can transform. First, you're going to flip the arms around like that. And then you got to flip the head around. And you also got to kind of do that with the legs. Um, it looks really strange. And kind of scary, which I think is the point. I think... Okay, yeah. I'm looking at the canister. I did do that, right? Um, yeah, these guys are pretty cool that they can do that. Um, yeah, I I like the Vaki. I don't know why there's people that don't like them. Um, I mean, that's fine. I, that doesn't make me upset or anything. I just think they're neat. And the commercials were cool, too, the whole surrender or run thing. Like, that that's just awesome. So you can have them in this more, like, spider position. I think they all do, like, a similar thing like this, and that's why they have these huge weapons. Um, but, yeah, this guy's this is pretty cool. It looks a little weird, but pretty cool. And, of course, it's not this. If you want to, like, put one arm up like it's trying to... Um, kind of like stab at something. It kind of works, but also kind of doesn't work great. And then they, of course, can still launch the discs in this form. Um, gonna see if I can shoot Luigi. Uh, I missed. I'm gonna try again. 
I think these things are called Kanoka discs, but that could be wrong. Oh my god, I missed him. If I don't hit him this third time, I'm done. Oopsie, that, that doesn't count. Okay, I hit him. <laughs> now let's look at the manual and canister. The manual is a pretty standard rectangle. Um, this one's in pretty good condition for its age. Um, just open it up and... Oh, okay, that's right. You get a really cool map of Matranui showing all the different areas and the Toa on there. And in the back, mine's got a little rip there. Um, there's an ad for Bionicle 2 Legends of Metronui, and it shows some screenshots from the movie. It's pretty cool. And then uh, 2004, the Lego Group, the set came out in 2004. Um, and then there's a bunch, there's ads for other sets here. There's Matau, some kind of racer set, a Clickets set, that ship, the little helicopter thing, and then... What I think is actually the original Hogwarts Express. That's cool. Then there's an ad for the Matoran. You can actually get most of them sealed for decently cheap on Bricklink. I think, like, some of them you can get sealed for, like, 15 bucks on Bricklink. And then the extra, I think they're called Kanoka Discs, down on the bottom right. And then go back here. You get ads for the Toa. I own Nakama, Onewa, and Matau. And I might be able to get Vakama. And then we also get to see the Titans. There's Krekka. Nidiki. He's cool and he uses some Vaki pieces. And then Taraga Duma. Duma? Duma? I'm not sure. And Nivok. I don't know how to pronounce that right. A red dude and his bird thing. <laughs> Um, and then it shows the combiner models for the Vaki, which are that thing, which is a combination of this one that we're reviewing, Rorzak, as well as the green one and the red one, and then a combination of the other three. <laughs> um, go here, and it shows the rest of the Vaki. Zadak, Rorzak, Bordak, Vorzak, Nurak and uh, Key Rack. These are some fun names. I actually have most of this guy. I'm only missing his disc and his weapons, I think. And I think I have some of one of the other ones. I don't know. Whatever. And then there's the combiner model. You get some of the instructions for the combiner model in here. Oh, man, there's another rip in the manual. Oh, whatever. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Now, let's look at the canister. The canister is uh, quite similar, actually, to the um, Rakshi canisters. In fact, it's almost the same thing, but flipped upside down. I think this part of the canister is the same thing as the Rakshi ones, just in this kind of like grayish silver color instead of clear. And then the top is different from the Rakshi canisters. Um, it's got the Metronui thing there. 33 pieces, all that information, how to launch the disc. I don't know what those numbers mean. I don't really care what they mean, but I don't know what they mean. www.bionicle.com um, And then there's another ad for the movie. They didn't even have box art yet, it looks like. All this information. Um, nothing on the bottom except for that really cool molded-in thing. And then... Take off the oh, there was a much easier way to do that. There's um, right, I think, yes, okay, there is a little area here where you can get for leverage. Um, this really cool translucent yellow lid with some of the sticker on it looks quite cool. I like it. And there's um, not really anything of note inside the canister. So now let's give the set a number score from one to ten. Overall, I like this set. I say that in almost all of these reviews. While the Rakshi are one of the more divisive Bionicle waves, I like most Bionicle waves. There is one that I don't like, but that's for another time. This is a cool figure. Yes, it's not super colorful, but if we're being honest with ourselves, not much of the Metronui lineup was colorful, and I don't think that's a bad thing when the storyline got 
quite a bit darker, so why shouldn't the sets? And I actually think it's cool how this figure in particular is mostly black and gray, and then on the head, boom, bright yellow. It's really cool and striking. And while the Rakshi are, uh, rocks, excuse me, Vaki, no, the Rakshi are very posable. While the Va uh, Vaki are a little lacking in posability, um, I think they make up for that in cool weapons, the really cool disc launching feature, and the fact they can transform, like I showed earlier in the video. So, all things considered, I am going to give this set a 6 out of 10. I think it's good, and I like it. No Luigi's were harmed in the filming of this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. That's all for now. Bye!